Hello Inferno friends. So in this video we are going to see what's going on with Inferno <laughs> post manually because I didn't actually set anything for for like two weeks, three, three weeks already. Um, that's because I've been been really busy and not grinding a lot on DB like in some other formats. Um, and also I was super super unsure on what's the best approach. I had like 10 different ideas. Um, I know that pre list I was cooking a super insane combo. Uh, but you know, my list came, so I didn't even bother to explain it to you what, what was what was going on. But if you were interested in those seven interruptions board that I used to put, um, just check my last video, abusing Mikanko and Beyond. But then imagine Isolde, Mill 4, Summon Dawn Knight, Dawn Knight and Isolde into Sprite Elf, and then Dawn Knight, Mill um, Herald, and then Elf Revive Herald gets mechanical engine and if you have extenders into ignis then you are doing crazy shenanigans that was the, the game plan the concept anyway and um, that's from the past so right now what do we have on our screen we have uh well that's pretty much the same <laughs> so yeah i was gonna say so i have three different approaches after after a lot of a lot of testing um my first one is this um inferno with um, the pendulum stuff the ignis ignite and Mikanko, and that's it. The only cute difference is that I'm trying to abuse Lava Golem and Swamp Mod World a lot because I know how hard it is to break some boards like, like Castira, Lock Your Zones. Um, yeah, that's my need. So, in this version, it's pretty similar to my last video before the ban list, my last deck concept. So, I don't really have a, a lot to explain here, just check the last video uh, because the, the concept remains the same. But uh, the difference now is that, well, we need to adapt the extra deck to beat the meta. So I was thinking about cute stuff like maybe playing in the main or side, one Granite Gallant and one Nip, so it's searchable because you know you can make rank 4 here. Um, but yeah, I don't have much to say here. The idea is to make Beyond and then uh, try to get the Mechanical Engine access with, with, Renaud, with the Renault search and try to end on like three interruptions. But what two and then uh, like a Nini and a Secret Village. I think Nini Secret Village is insanely strong right now because a lot of decks uh, utilize power spells right now, especially because you know we have uh, the new TTT. <laughs> so yeah, I think Nini is Secret Village is a super strong combination because you just steal whatever they try to use like in the battle phase with, uh, like Fenrir, or if they normal summon a Enchantress or a Spellcaster, you steal it, and the normal spells that they have are still true enough. So yeah, that's it. Now uh, we're going to see the second uh, of the of this new Holy Trinity that I have. Uh, here we are bringing back an old friend called Doppel Warrior, and right now we are doing a similar combo but way more efficient in, in terms of extra deck um, than we were the, the, like we were doing before. You know, like looping three cards of the opponent's hand and then ending on two interruptions. Well, now we are looping two and ending on three interruptions. From just this all, and we are we are utilizing the the mechanical engine uh, throughout the combo because Herald makes uh, him searchable. So in, I know the order look weird. We are putting the putting the order um, in how the sequence work, the sequence of the combo. All right, now we have the combo. Uh, we are only using Isolde, no extenders. Let's wait. Yeah, search vanilla. Mill those specific four equips. Uh, there's the second scale, then summon, get the discard father, get we not, get black god, it's pretty standard, like back in the day. The difference begins uh, after we loop Isolde. So now we have to uh, look at this. We are not making Cupid anymore, we're making Herald because Herald is a stepping stone. Um, back in the day, I was feeling really bad when I saw Herald linked away into an IP or an Appaloosa. I felt that was such a waste. But in Synchro Summoning, it doesn't look as bad. Because with Double Warrior, getting tokens, level one, level one, level level two, we need to Synchro Climb a lot. And then Herald is just a stepping stone into the Synchro Climbing, so that's fine. So at this point, Herald uh, is going to be used for a Synchro Summon. And guess which one? Yeah, the good old friend Omega. So now with Omega and DDI in hand, that means Rip 2. But hey, Rip 2, that's not, good of, uh, that's not good enough. But we have Herald. Herald, get us Ohim. 
and him by itself is going to it's going to make us have two interruptions. And then because we have an extended in graveyard, we're gonna get another one. So you see, you just wait. The token in the opponent's field is you know the card that we just ripped. We get the search, we discard the discard father. Now Ohim equip Arabesque that we already had in graveyard, that's why this was important. And then Arabesque bounce something that doesn't matter. Which card right now doesn't matter to be on board? Token? No, token is important. Sprint, sprint's doing nothing right now. Yeah. You know, if the opponents have any Biru, a Bestia, or whatever, we can bounce the opponent's stuff too. Now we put back the Herald. And here we could make the Herald if we want, but we are making Cupid, because Cupid can level up into being a 7. Yeah. And then 7 3, Lure. And now, because we didn't use the Quick Play to put an equipping graveyard, because we already set up everything with the salt, this is dumping Nini, and then we are reviving Nini. So yeah, we are abusing the Mechanical Engine at its finest, as well as the Infernal Bissell Engine, because every mill matters here. And again, if you open those mills, it's fine. You just mill something different and, of course, start freestyling. But this is just a proof that Bissell is five interruptions, utilizing Mechanical. And look how many extra decks we have right now. We have five, nine cards in the extra deck, uh, ignoring Pendulums. So back in the day, the double variant, was using every spot in the in the extra deck, and this is using only um yeah only six because we put back the herald we put back the spring the spring is not useful anymore as a follow up but herald it is yeah so I think that's pretty insane now we go back to the deck list and as you can see we have like eight free slots I mean you could cut more stuff if you if you want like the gear fits um, and yeah you have more non engine space up to you uh, so this is the sequence. So this is my second favorite variant out of this whole trinary because I think here you don't really want to open the Mikanko engine because it's going to be um, not part of the end board if you start like using a him effect to get into Hari and then to get into Sol, you know? So of course you can freestyle but it's not the same. Um, yeah, I think this is it, the variant. Please ignore the side deck, it's up to you, it's changeable. Ah, one big thing if you want to play this variant, we don't always have Majesty as a tuner. If Sol gets Ash, we usually have to use Ignis Ignite, pop them, search and scale. Search and scale. Then we summon Majesty, get the Black Garden, Majesty Soul into Beyond, get the second scale, pen summon two bodies, search to be not. But at this point in time, those two bodies are not, um, what's the name? They are not uh, tuners. So in this, in this scenario, we have two or even three outs because we are going to have two level four non-tuners so we can make Galen Granite, mill, uh, sorry, detach Herald, get the search. I mean, of course, you got to play an Iberian in your main deck if you want, that's up to you. And then uh, if you want, you can like try to not bounce Sprint because then Sprint is an interruption because you're going to you're gonna have a Galen Granite sitting there with a the material to be used for Sprint. That's cool. You could also like make Dweller. Uh, but then Sprint is not an interruption because you need to detach the Dweller on your turn to get Herald Search and then detach the other in the opponent's turn or you could just make IP so you have a lot of options if you don't have a Tuner then you don't make Omega and you go for a different route uh, so yeah, that's the concept Post side, uh, you know that we use this to search Black Garden you know what card replaces Black Garden? DDR because DDR can also bring Double Warrior back. So post side, you could sacrifice one Omega Rip by not searching Black Garden and searching Secret Village instead, for example. Because standard combo and some Nini. Um, yeah. Uh, or you could just freestyle and end on Beyond, which is also a spellcaster. Not as good, but hey. So yeah, uh, that's it for this second variant. And now my top one, uh, as you're about to see, uh, as you can see, we opened Lava Golem, Ignite. Mm. Connector engine and gear fit, so I think this hand is pretty cool, cool, pretty cracked. And as you can see, the opponent is on dry drum. The open also really insane, like three, three dry drum names to, to push through a board and eclipse. And at this point, we're playing through Nip because we had gear fit um, dolphin. We should have rip uh, alpha or gamma. We forgot that later on, it doesn't matter what they have on graveyard. So we are going to keep comboing right now. Searching Renaud, Summoning Majesty, Get the Garden. I know this looks familiar, 
but we are not doing what we just did because this is not the number two list this is not the number one list so here we are going to do uh, uh, yeah double shenanigan and now um, yeah we are going <laughs> back into the the old combo the good good old old combo with a slight variation we are not playing the cupid brick we are not playing the roland we are not playing charles um, because right now Herald is a better follow-up than Charles. That's mainly the reason. Yeah, Trishel. Trishel is gonna banish whatever they have in graveyard. And yeah, this combo is super oppressive. It's an FTK pretty much. Like, look at this. Here we are gonna take the last monster with Dolphin. So doesn't matter what they open. Like, Dark Ruler no more? No problem. Sphere Wrap? No problem. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is stupid. So here, we are going to sell everything and then row 4 and win. Um, yeah, so game 2. I think game 2 is also stupid. We just didn't open any side card and they use the uh, Magician of Chaos to lock us, like as a top lock. And then game 3. You could think that one of the weaknesses of this variant is oh, but if you are trying to banish your opponent's hand, you die to Lancia. And it makes sense, but actually you don't. So here, this is a funny, a funny example because I misplayed a lot in this replay, in this game 3. Um, I didn't risk using Dolphin at any point because I was like, he probably only plays one Diviner and then I'm not gonna hit anything. I'm gonna try to save this and just when I have a Fleur in, in case to order to rip a lot of Golems or something like that. But I misplayed a lot. Uh, but even, even with my misplays, I still did a cool board. So I'm not gonna explain my misplays here right now. If you want, you can you could try to analyze what could have been the best sequence, the best end board here. But just trust me, I did not put the best end board. Um, later on, I, I figured it out how how it was a better end board. Uh, if you also want to know how, well, just let me know down in the comments. But this was not. And still, even though I missed play like three times, under Lancia, that this means we are not banishing three of our opponent's hand. We are not using Phoenix Blade. We are not using Gear Fit. We are not using um, Maiden, Garden Rose Maiden, Revive Riser. We are not using um, DDR. We are not using what else? The Mikanko Quick Play to Banish. We are not using something else. I can't remember right now. Like a lot of things. Even though all of that, um, we ended, ended up putting a lot of follow up and four interruptions. Yeah. As you can see here. This is a freestyle combo, you know, I, I don't have to explain you, you don't need to learn this sequence. I'm just making anything at this point, as long as it works. Um, so yeah, as you can see, we ended the turn, I mean we popped the token in case he could have uh, an evenly and something else. Because then you are forced to keep the token. And this means we ended on a rip on the opponent's turn because, you know, Omega is cool because they could trigger some names. A steal, and then two Omni Negates. And follow up, this that is gonna get us Hare into any Mikanko equip, this into Doppel, Herald into a him, um, Zoro Cat free summon, and this summon Riser for free. So I think even though we misplayed a lot, uh, the follow up was cool and the end board was cool through Alancia. Yeah. So in this case, he's trying to, I think, save his power spells from Omega. Um, we are letting this go. Our game plan right now is try to utilize Omega. So we want him to trigger a name, yeah. And then we use Omega, and he had the droplets. Um, he used it, but then he is still GG. Yeah. Mainly because <laughs> he gets too excited and just trust forgetting about venting. <laughs> but I think even if he uses it, like, what is, what is his trust gonna get him? Evenly? Okay, we keep on him, the last interruption. Uh, we use this for follow. This is gonna get him, um, like, like Benton Search is not doing anything here right now on summon. It has to be paired with this, so maybe this can get Nova and then he has access to a dry drum. But then if the moment he makes Bium Vera with steel, he could make the little to make going to Sus and board wipe and we still have a lot of follow-up and he has nothing. So it's GG, yeah. Even though we misplay, even though we got Lancia, yeah. So for me that was a good example. And now blacklist. So right now this is like my top one decklist, and of course it can change, especially the side deck and the non-engine slots. That's totally up to you in any of the three variants, all right? So here we have, um, yeah, small way into Lava Golem. I think that's a must. You need to have outs. 
Now, ah, I know what you're gonna think. Men, you're playing a lot of engine. You have only one lava golem, one ash. That's true, but at the same time, we have lava golem ash. Three small words into a lava golem or him or Gearfrit. Or him. For me, or him is a going second card. Because if the opponent does nothing, you're gonna bounce something, then use a stealer. So you're gonna trade like a one card into two of the opponents. So he has to, to interact with, with or him. So for me, that's eight. And then Arabesque, that's pretty much the same as Ohim, so for me that's 10. One Gilfit, 11. Gilfit is life a lot of the time because we have uh, the six Durendals, the five Arabesque because Ohim and Arabesque itself. itself. Um, yeah. Then a small world in two. Uh, I don't know, Ohim, yeah. So Gilfit is life every time, so 11. And then this is for me like a pseudo going second card, Rondo. I know by itself it doesn't do anything, but if you activate it and explain to your opponent, um, when I control a Mikanko, I'm gonna take control of your monster and that doesn't start a chain, it's immediate. Then he wonders, what if he just normal summons a Mikanko? I lose my monster, and then sometimes I change something. Even if you don't have a Mikanko to normal special summon, Rondo, it can be an uh, going second card if you have access to a um, Gilfrid or Oliver. And you know, you have a lot of ways to get into an Oliver. Also to Gilfrid, because it's a small one. So you just banish this or... So you just banish this or cost this for Oliver and then bye bye to the opponent monster to send this to send it to graveyard uh, without starting a chain so yeah for me it's like 12 and then and then even uh, you could count also the connectors and draw 16 because those are one card is all the opponent has to interact with those so you have 16 cards that at least base or trades one for one with the opponent that's almost half the deck and trust me it is super consistent because uh, these mechanical cards are also extender are also warrior access like something like Ohim and Arabesque or Ohim Hare means Isolde and a free discard in hand without normal summon. That's how crazy it is. Yeah. Uh, one cool tip um, in most of the variants, I mean, when you play double, going second, you just side out the, the pendulum package. Like, you don't need it. The cashier opponent is going to log your pendulum songs and that's going to be good for you because you are not on pendulum's post side. Um, yeah, both side again plan is going for the OTK, that's why we have the unicorn access in the in the side deck. Uh, we just take out useless synchros or maybe the Apollosa. Uh One cool trick that we didn't have before, I mean, we didn't develop it before, is Apollosa. Because we can actually, with one extender, make the full combo loop 3 Herald Fleur and Apollosa. We can get Apollosa with one extender. You know what extender that is? Ignis. Yeah, you have Isol plus Ignis, you can make Apollosa. You wanna know how? Okay, I'm just gonna give it out to you. Uh, it's all the mill two, summon double. Then with Ignis Ignite, you pretend like like when you get Ash, you know, you use the scales, summon Majesty, get a, a scale, Majesty sold into a Beyond, get the second scale, Beyond pen, pen summon two. And then at this point, sometimes the opponent nip you and you still have full combo right there. Um, if they don't nip you, you just make a plus in the spot. With double, Beyond, and Majesty, yeah, you make a Blusa. And then, uh, Scales pop into Renaud, so you have a Blusa, uh, Ignis on board, and then Renaud in hand, and that's full combo. That's like the if the Blusa is the sprint, pretty much, yeah. Because then you already have um, Doppling Graveyard. Then you activate Black Garden, Special Summon Renaud, Revive Doppel, get DDR, full combo. And if the opponent need you, then you start freestyling, but you also, you already have Black Garden and Doppling Graveyard. So you just pop the scales, search like an Oliver, or if you have a way into a foil warrior, like Renaud still, and then uh, summon the Oliver or Renaud, um, Black Garden, Revive Opal, and start doing double shenanigans. You know, you have to freestyle at that point, but it's cool. Like you can try to make Herald, and then Herald into the, the Mechanical Engine, because you can bounce the opponent in the Biru or your token. Yeah, you can get creative. So a plus is really good, really nice. Uh, I, I, I love these powerful engine um, going second cards like Arbesk and Girofit and Ohim. So this is uh, a reason to go over 40 for sure and you max out on, on those. On Girofit, on Arbesk, maybe even on preparation so you have 6 Ohims. Uh, yeah, and that's it. Oh, that was super exciting for me to, to explain it to you. Um, yeah, the extra deck is again straightforward. Uh, as you can see, because we are not on, on what was his name? Roland and Charles, we can play. Hell and Appaloosa, which I think have way more value right now. Uh, again, going second, you could have a hard time, but if you're not playing against Kashira, or even if you are, like sometimes Arbex bounce um, the 
the macrocosmos, it's, it's cool. Sometimes you can even bounce the, the, lock, the monsters that, that locks, because they could be locking your, I don't know, your pendulum sounds or whatever. Um, so yeah, you can go second a lot, a lot of the times, more than before at least. Um, connector Dolphin, you could cut them, like I think in some of the other um, templates, decklists that I showed you, I was not on them, but I think you have to play them, so you can be prepared to play around Neve or Imperm, or Baby Ash, because everybody's on Ash right now. How do we beat Imperm? Just in case you forgot, we need to access Doppel. So if the Imperm is sold, you access Doppel through Sprint. If you saw the Imperm, then you have to Isol me to try to summon Doppel. Because what if they are trying to save the Imperm for Sprint, you know? Then Isol access Doppel. And as long as, as you access Doppel plus sooner, Imperm is not as impactful because you start freestyling a lot. You don't have one big choke point at this point. Like everything can get you into another extender in different ways when you start using the whole synchro, synchro package that you play. Uh, so yeah, that's a cool, cool thing, cool fact. For me, uh, you, yeah, you could add uh, an Ogier, for example, to have Ogier and not combo. I am not doing it because I don't think I need to. We already have like six normal salmon, maybe seven, maybe eight. And uh, sometimes you want normal salmon because of Lava Golem. So I decided it was not worth it. Uh, you could also cut the Oliver. It's just in case I have to use Renault early and then we always need a Tuner plus Duper Warrior. And you cannot use um, the Majesty because you don't, you don't play a Synchro 6. I wish to play Coral. Because Coral w could be in the middle of the combo just at free draw 1. But we cannot. No space at all. Um, yeah, the side deck is changeable. I think right now I like it like this. Um, well, I would like it more if I play like Triple Ash. So this is an argument to just play Tor 42 or cut something and play Triash. Because yeah, Ash is insane right now against Branded. Um, I also I would also wish to play Unicorn Access in the main deck. What would I cut? Mm -hmm. There is not a, a single card that you could cut. Me, I mean, maybe a Pulu and Second Salt, but you need them. I rather just use this uh, in the side to go in second. So that's it. That's it, my fellows, my friends. Let me know what you think, what you want to know. Um, yeah. Try this list, the second and the third place list, please. Or give me your thoughts, your ideas. Uh, yeah, don't forget to to pay attention to these little details, like side, siding out this going second. Sometimes if you are if you are playing against like a heavy bestial package, like the opponent is unbranded or Dragon Link, if you sit there on heavy uh, man of bestial, maybe you just side out the double and keep the pendulum engine, you know, just so it, it don't it doesn't affect you that much. Again, please try it more than 40 and play max maximum copies of this because I love to open engine and also be able to break a board, and these cards allow you to do it. Um, yeah, again, um, I, I would like to cut Connector Dolphin, trust me, but I think we need them because of the hand trap that the foreman are, is playing. I, I know this doesn't beat Imperm Nip, but it warns you about it. Uh, yeah, I think that's important. But it's up to you. There is an argument to just ignore it because you know that with one extender, you could threaten an Appaloosa and then they would have to nip before. Mm, yeah, that's it. Small world, sometimes I try to hold it until the end in my hand because this could get you a scale if let's say, let's say they imprint beyond or let's say they imprint um, sprint and you didn't access the double so this could add double or one scale so yeah, this is super versatile, versatile. Uh, I think it's worth just playing this and minus one every time you, you use it if you don't have to use it, you have a lot to discard so you just discard this for Dolphin, for Majesty, for him, whatever Hope you like every, everything that I explained it to you. Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts, your comments. Oh, that was cool. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. Have, have a good day.